Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's video, walk around video. I am Allie Pinchon, for those of y'all who don't know me yet. Now, I have my own business that I call Alley Cat RVs, but I'm centered here at Holiday World RV in Alvarado, Texas is where I work out of. Today, we're gonna do a walk around video on my 2019 Astoria 2953 RLF. We'll start with the outside, work our way inside, and I'll tell you what we do here at Holiday World to make your experience a little bit different. Let's get started. Zoom out. We're going to start here, like I said, with the outside, starting with the front cap. You've got beautiful LED lights all the way around it. Kind of ignore my cart here. We're plugged up so I have 12 volt power and we're not running down those batteries. And then you can see our hitch pin. Now this has the pivoting head on it. That'll reduce the chucking so it makes for a much easier pull. As we dive in here, you'll see that we have our controls for the lights, those LED lights I was talking about. And down in here is where your battery storage, a little bit of extra storage is. One thing that I do really like is most of y'all who know fifth wheels are familiar with the little clips that are here. They actually put the magnets here, which makes that so terribly nice. Got a few little minor scrapes there. I'm gonna show y'all not only the features, but anything that y'all might need to know if y'all were going to come look at this in person. I have a lot of customers who come from long distances and I want them to know exactly what to expect and the goods and sometimes if there's any bads. Let me swing back around here, speaking of that, and I do want to disclose and show y'all. Um, right here, we've got a little bit of marks, it looks like from probably some rock chips. That's very, very typical to see on the front cap. Uh, very, very common. But again, I want to disclose that this is a pre owned unit. And you've also got a little dent here. Who knows where that came from, but you know what? It's there. Looks like everything is still sealed excellently, but that cosmetic mark is going to be there. Let's walk around the other side and look at the off door side first and we'll work our way around. I wanna show the whole unit here and we'll go down the side. You've got a couple of spots of discoloration. Um, looks like maybe where the clear coat has come off. So you can see right in here, it's nice and shiny the way it's supposed to be. And then you've got a couple marks. Let's zoom up here so you can see that one where it looks like that clear coat has come off for some reason up there. Uh, might just be some sunwear, it's kind of hard to say. Now, this is going to be one of your propane bays. The other one will be on the other side. Now we will include new batteries if they are not already in excellent condition. So you either get excellent or brand new battery. And then you'll get these propane tanks will be filled. That's just part of what we do. This is going to be your storage bay. Of course, the power cord is going to be included. Very lovely open storage bay. There's nothing here that, you know, sticks out that's going to um, get in the way of using this area. It's a very nice large area. And you have your automatic leveling system right here. So this trailer is equipped with auto level. Your convenience here convenience center is going to be located here to the side. Your spray port works like an outdoor shower. So you hook up that hose to there, and now you've got a nice place where you can rinse off your dogs, cats, and husbands, and shoes. And your city water, your black tank flush connection is right there, and then your hot water bypass, as well as your satellite connection. Your water heater is going to be a six gallon. It'll work off of gas or electric, and then that's gonna be your outlet for your furnace. Let's see if I'm missing anything here. We'll go ahead and shut this as I go. Coming around the side. You're gonna see more of that discoloration right here. And that spot is actually shinier than the rest of it. So you're gonna have some discoloration. And right here before I pass it, that's gonna be your fresh water connection and then your 50 amp supply. This is gonna be equipped with two ACs. Back around here, you are going to be prepped for a backup camera and you've got a ladder for a fully walkable roof. Now this hitch here, let's take a look and see exactly what it's capable of. 
Now this maximum load is only 300 pounds, okay? That's not tongue weight, that's total weight. So what this hitch is primarily used for, it's gonna be a cargo tray that you can use to carry extra stuff on, not necessarily like a boat or a trailer. You wanna keep that under 300 pounds. Around this side, you're gonna have your outdoor speakers and a place to mount a TV right here. That's gonna be your connection. And then you've got 110s right here to plug into it. I don't know if you can see those. It's very bright out here with some harsh shadows, but hopefully you can see that. Now I missed it on the other side, but I want to show you the tires here are in excellent condition. Um, now we do have a pretty strict policy on our tires that if they are not um, anywhere near good condition or if they are over five years old, we do replace the tires. These particular tires, I believe the customer replaced, but they are going to be 2022 tires. So they are basically this year's tires. They're not even a year old. Coming around the side, we've got our solid steps, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Just want to show you the other side of the pass through and then the other propane tanks going to be behind this door here. Looking around, you've got plenty of plugs. There's that LED strip and the light switch for that LED strip is gonna be right here. This is gonna to go to your in-command center. It's just some wiring and some technicalities, which we'll get a closer look once we get inside. Let's take the magnet down. You slam latch doors, very easy to close. Oh, and then last thing on the outside here is this is gonna be prepped for solar. You can plug in your solar there and add a little bit of extra power. Now coming up here, this is going to have the all-weather thermal package. What that's going to mean on this specific trailer, because they all can mean something a little bit different, is that it is going to have an enclosed and a heated underbelly. If we take a look at that here, you can see how it is enclosed right there. And your heat ducts are going to run down in there. inside this door I do want to mention has a couple of bumps and bruises not sure probably was moving some furniture and maybe bump the door it's hard to say there and then you do have some little scratch marks there uh, we're gonna look for any kind of signs of animals in there but um, for those of y'all who have severe allergies I don't ever want to hide if there has been any animals this is definitely a non-smoking unit. I have asthma. I would be very aware if it was. Now, let's start with our awning because the awning is going to be the last thing on the outside. Here's our in-command center. We'll turn that on. You can turn on your interior lights just from this button. And it'll turn everything on. But you can also go here and scroll through and control everything. Let's turn the awning light on and the awning let's go ahead and put that out so i'm going to hit out you can see our awning coming out there i'm not going to be able to go very far with it my button my hand is not hitting the button very good because i'm trying to watch the awning that should be good because i want to show y'all if there's going to be any major cracks or tears or rips they're very very likely to happen at the closest part to the trailer because that's where it's gonna get the most sun exposure. So let's zoom up, hold on, we're going for a ride. Ooh, there we go. All right, so let's see what we're looking at there. Actually, let's walk over there and see what that is. Um, looks like from here, it's kind of hard to tell. It looks like it could have been a patch job, but I really don't see the signs of where the hole would have been. It looks more like a sticky. So I don't wanna completely say that that's nothing, but I'm not as alarmed as I thought I would be. Of course, a small hole is not gonna inhibit the use of your awning. Um, it's just gonna really be cosmetic. Um, it's definitely not having any major rips, tears. It's not coming apart, and I do not see any sun rot either. So overall, I would say that awning is easily in a um, at least nine out of 10 condition only because of that spot that we're not sure of. Now let's come back over here. We're gonna go ahead and roll that in. Light, scroll back down to awning, in. Awning's going in. Now I'm holding my button a little bit better. I 
It also might be doing that since I'm only working off of the 12 volt power here. All right, so let's close this door. We can get a little bit better lighting. Ooh, I opened it all the way, didn't I? There we go. Makes it a little bit easier to see in here. So when we walk in, we're welcomed by the kitchen area. We've got our counter here that's a nice little coffee spot, coffee table, lots of cabinet space above and below, and check out this pantry. I love this pantry. Easily a full size. I'm going to step back so you can hopefully really appreciate the size of this pantry. Very deep. It's got some good size to it. You can see it goes all the way back there. Beautiful pantry, and y'all saw that motion detected light up there. You can leave it on or off all the time if you want. You've got some accent lighting in your slides here. Your dining table, I imagine this was not the original dining table, so you can probably tell. Um, but it is really nice. This is a very heavy duty. It is a nice table. Um, if you did decide to replace it with something else, it's definitely not something that you can just cheapy and throw away. Probably make a little bit off of that. Even our lights here are still covered in plastic. Tells me that the previous owners really did take some time into making sure everything was nice. Um, and then our island here has beautiful little accent light under it. You've got plugs right here and right on that side. You've got a stainless steel double base in here. We've got our sink cover. That right there. Under here, lots of storage, your drawers here. Put that up. And this way, if anybody's wondering, we stick these in all of our units. This does not necessarily say the price of the unit. This is just what the bank values it at. We try to do that to show that we're being as honest as possible with the pricing of our units and pricing them according to market and not overcharging you. Um, nine times out of ten, that price you see there is actually going to be higher than the price of the unit because we want these to be pretty easy to get financed. You've got your accent lighting here. You've got your three burner stovetop that flips up. Ooh, if I grab that and not watch my camera. And then you've got a larger oven here, easily a 21 inch. It might be a little bit bigger, but there's a pretty good oven. Not going to cook a turkey in it, but you could probably fit a ham. And up here is you've got your microwave. Very, very clean. We have not cleaned this unit yet. Now we will do a full detail inside and out. Um, to make sure that it's clean for you, but we wait until it sells. That way we can get um, any walkthrough traffic is going to be taken care of. Let's dive under the sink here, check for any spots, and I'll kind of dive into what I was talking about with my, let me zoom up and get the light on here. Um, a little bit of wear and tear from them using it, but I don't see anything under here. That panel is really here just to make it look pretty um don't see any signs of any water damage or water leaks there now the 130 point inspection that i was talking about let me zoom back out here that's going to cover things like your slides your automatic leveling your water pumps water heaters your kitchen appliances um, your ACs, your furnace, refrigerators, things like that. We're going to go through and fully inspect the trailer according to those points. And if any of those are not working or functioning correctly, we're going to fix or replace them as needed at no extra cost to you. So to recap, you're going to get um, either excellent or new battery or batteries, depending on the unit. You're going to get full tanks of propane. You're going to get a 150 point inspection. You're, um, where we do fix or replace if it doesn't pass. You're going to get a full detail inside and outside of the unit. And you're also going to get a full walkthrough with a technician as well as myself to be down with you. It's going to be plugged into shore power. This one would be 50 amp. And we're going to walk through not only showing you how everything works so you're familiar with the unit, but that everything works. We're going to test everything out. We're going to light the oven. We're going to make sure the fridge is cold. The ACs are blowing. We're going to test the water pumps and water heater, have it hooked up to water, all that good stuff so that you can feel confident that we've done our job and given you a product that you can be very, very happy with. Now we've got a fireplace here. It's an electric fireplace. So yes, you still have a furnace. I believe this one is going to be a 35,000 BTU. If I 
I believe that's correct. Now this furnace will, I mean, sorry, this fireplace will run off of um, electric, saving you some gas if you don't want to use your furnace right away. Um, and that fireplace, believe me, will actually put out some pretty good heat. You've got your radio here, TV here, it is on an arm, so you can pan that out to whatever couch, but it is directly located across from your theater seating for the maximum comfort. Plenty of storage overhead. You've even got 110s and USB ports down there. The couch and the, um, which this is gonna be a sleeper sofa, and your theater seating, excellent, excellent condition. I've inspected these. I cannot find any rips or tears. A lot of times we'll find where they're cracking or weathering. I have not been successful in finding anything that would alarm me or say that this is going to do more so in the future. Um, and I'll show you here. I'll lift that up just a little bit. You can see the bed underneath there. So this is not a jackknife sofa. This is better. This is one that's going to come out to almost a uh, full size or queen bed. Your recliners here, very comfortable when, and I've actually sat in these. Now, when you recline these out, you'll also be able to lean back quite a bit, almost to the point where you're flat. You'll fall asleep in these, I guarantee it. They're very, very comfortable. I think we've pretty much covered most of the kitchen and living room area. Um, going up to the ceiling here, that's going to be your main AC. It's ducted through. It is a 15,000 BTU AC. Let's work our way upstairs. Going up here, we've already talked about this in Command Pro, so that command center there. Low battery, that's just again, it's yelling at me because I'm running off my cart here. Going into the bathroom, you now notice you have a door to the bedroom here, to the bathroom, and then you can access the bathroom and bedroom right there. Underneath the sink, we're not going to fail to inspect that as well. Let's zoom up, turn on our light. No signs that I see, any kind of leaks. Again, that would be covered, but it's always nice to disclose if I see something ahead of time. Medicine cabinet. Let's turn around here. You've got a porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice open. Sometimes I see that there's uh, cabinets. I'll kick that with my foot. Sometimes I see that there's cabinets um, overhead, and that can kind of get in the way as you go to sit down. So I like they kept it simple. Just put your towel hanger there. That way you don't have to worry about that. So open up the shower. Hopefully it's clean. Yes, it is. They took really good care of this unit. So you've got a um, skylight overhead to give you more headroom. Also, this is going to be completely flush with the floor. This obviously there's a lip. But this step in is going to be completely flush with the floor. So you have maximum headroom for those who are on the taller side. Um, I myself am not on the taller side. But I would easily say um, that if you're over six foot, you'll be just fine. You may or may not even have to use that skylight. Anybody needing exact dimensions, um, just give me a holler and I'll get in here and measure it for you. Now, before I get into our slide out wardrobe, let's go through this way. Now, notice that this door does open with both doors open. That's kind of nice. You don't have to worry about this door being closed to get into the bathroom. Coming into our bedroom here, first thing we'll notice, lots of windows. Our bed fully walk around here. It is going to be a queen size bed. Um, definitely a plush, nice mattress. I believe it originally came with this mattress, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but it is much more comfortable than what most of them come with. Anybody who's out been shopping knows those mattresses. This is much, much better than those. Um, beautiful headboard here, lights. You've got one tens and uh, USBs on both sides. Nice little, little storage base there. You've got your 13, uh, 13.5 BTU AC in here so you can stay cooler in the bedroom. You've got a arm there so you can put up your TV and all your connections are right above it. You've still got vents in here, so you see that vent right there that'll come down from your um, AC down in the main room. Now, this slide-out wardrobe, we'll talk about it a little bit. Let's open that up. So, you've got one bay here for some hanging clothes. 
Let's go in this one. You've got shelving here, gonna be better for linens. And then this one should be more hanging. No, no, more shelves. I was very close, just not close enough. Um, but you've got lots of shelving for any kind of shoes or folded clothes that you wanna put in there. You also have little cubbies below. Can't, I don't think I pointed those out. Both sides and storage under the bed. This bed is pretty heavy, so while it does have struts, it's not holding the bed up completely on its own. It's not too heavy for me, um, but I can't just let it go. But you've got that storage that goes all the way down under your bed, so you can store your larger items. For those of y'all who do not know, I full-time in a fifth wheel, and what I like to store under the bed, because I don't like to access that all the time, is just my extra blankets, and then my seasonal clothes tend to work really well under there. If I have missed anything or if you have any questions um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me I'll try to put some of the specs here popping up in the video and of course all my contact information is on the screen right now uh, reach out to me I've got new I've got pre-owned I've got everything from your smallest teardrops travel trailers to fifth wheels and motor coaches as well again contact information on the screen don't hesitate to reach out and thank you for spending some time with me this morning have a great day, y'all.